If you guys don't like and subscribe in the next one second, I like it, Kaji. Hello there and welcome back to another video today guys we're going to be discussing if Pet Simulator Rex is actually getting too hard too hard to go ahead and progress in the game um, and grind and open up pets and um, open up eggs guys because literally in this new update over here guys I've been able to open up about not even that many eggs guys to be fair probably let's go ahead and see I've opened up in total 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 10 11 12 i've opened up 12 eggs in this new update in total and i have been grinding for a little bit guys it's definitely getting quite hard to go ahead and grind and open stuff and progress in pets in the rex guys now i've even got some really really good pets over here i've got a ton of game passes i activate a ton of boosts and for some reason i can never really bomb and get too much stuff guys and um, so in today's video we'll be discussing the pet simulator rex is getting too hard and there it is guys starting off with three of the um the, the worst pets you guys can get that egg honestly guys i don't know what's happened to my luck i've op i've opened up so many of these um eggs and the best thing i've got is one of these basic golden jelly aliens guys my luck is not on my side today but anyway guys in today's video as i have said we'll be discussing all this after i've told you all about rblxcodes.com that's my own roblox good website where you can find out game codes music codes and guides there is tons of stuff in there that you guys have to check out overall we give a codes for over 300 roblox games so if you guys need a code for a Game will all be there and if you guys guess let's just go ahead and get into this video now so guys in pet simulator rex um but when say that when you're first starting out on pet simulator rex guys you can go ahead and farm up for um you can farm up for eggs and areas quite quickly guys it doesn't really take too long and too much of your time especially when you're starting off guys you don't really have many boosts and to be fair if you guys are do you want to go ahead and grind up, let's say, for an egg? It doesn't really take that long. The first area, you could argue it does take a little while to go ahead and buy eggs and that sort of stuff. But guys, when you get rolling and when you are um, near the, like the end of the normal world or in the fantasy world, getting eggs and new areas is quite easy, guys. It's not much of a grind. And to be fair, I did prefer it that way. But now, guys, ever since the tech bullets came out, the Halloween event was completely fine. I was able to get tons of eggs in that Halloween world. But yeah, guys, ever since the tech update, I've barely been able to farm for any of the eggs, guys. For the first few eggs, yeah, I was able to buy a few of them. But ever since the first tech, um, tech world update, um, after these two worlds were added, I have found it really, really hard to go ahead and grind and get eggs in this new area, guys. So that leads me to believe that, especially when you are... um on the later stages of pet simulator rex like i am it does get quite a bit quite difficult guys especially keep this in mind i've got the 18 uh, 15 pets equipped game pass and um, allow me to equip 18 pets in total um i have all my boosts activated all the time triple damage triple coins i have um I, i've got quite good pets as well guys not many people um have so, like some of the boosts that i have of course i have spent more bucks on the game that does give me quite a big big boost however guys honestly it is getting quite hard to go ahead and play and i'm guessing for the free to play players it will be even worse than this guys honestly in my opinion pet simulator pet simulator rex is getting a bit expensive it's getting a bit hard and a bit, a bit boring to go ahead and um farm for the new um the, the new eggs and that to be honest guys if i'm gonna if i'm gonna be real here um also with the new um chests as well I'm not gonna lie, I would prefer them to be like normal instead of taking like eight seconds to go ahead and give me a bunch of coins and gems. I prefer it to be um a smaller um a smaller health chest that I could quickly farm up and actually get coins like I would normally. So if I quickly show you guys this for an example, so on this chest over here, let's say I'm getting coins every eight seconds. However, guys, if I were to let's say put one of my pets on this, I want to quickly adjust this in my set things um so if i put one pet on this um this thing over here if it lets me come on game um right there we go guys so if i put one pet on this egg uh, on this chest over here so as you guys can see with this chest i do get um coins well never mind guys not really a good example but pretty much guys um for these chests here it is a lot easier to go ahead and get um get coins however guys in the fantasy world if you guys remember how the big chests weren't really that overpowered they were very 
um but they were overpowered but they weren't overpowered in the um health sense of things guys so these chests take so long to go ahead and just go ahead and destroy guys and honestly they don't really give you guys too many coins for your time if i'm going to be hit uh, real here um in my opinion 30 minutes of rx guys is getting a little bit expensive at the moment comment down below your opinions this could be very easy to fix guys don't get it um wrong the Petsy Minus Rex is not going to go ahead and, well, I hope it's not. Petsy Minus Rex probably is not going to go ahead and die because of this. And um, Preston could easily go ahead and rebalance things. He did actually do a rebalancing in um, the Fantasy World, I remember. That was quite a big rebalancing over there. And that one did work quite well. Honestly, guys, in my opinion, I think it's time for a rebalancing for the Tech World. I honestly think the Tech World is getting a bit expensive. Even for me, I'm struggling to go ahead and farm for um, eggs over here guys not gonna lie i don't even know why i'm even buying these new eggs it's not really like i'm gonna have to use any of the pets because um if i were to um use any of the pets there i would have at least had to probably get a rainbow legendary to at least have one that would be able to fit my team um not i think a normal mythic would fit my team guys but to be fair the amount of tech ones that i would probably spend trying to get a mythic would probably just not even be worth it it'd probably more be worth for me to form up for the next update to go and buy the next areas but yeah guys that's my opinion of pet simulator rex guys right now i think it's a bit expensive all the stuff in the game it's a bit slow grinding it especially when you guys get to the latest stages in the game comment down below guys your opinions but anyway that's going to be it for this video here i hope you all did enjoy this video if you did make sure to like and subscribe to show some support and peace out